Welcome to Bedtime Astronomy. Explore the wonders of the cosmos with our soothing Bedtime Astronomy podcast. Each episode offers a gentle journey through the stars, planets, and beyond, perfect for unwinding after a long day. Let's travel through the mysteries of the universe as you drift off into a peaceful slumber under the night sky. Plato Mission Unveiling New Worlds Beyond Earth The Plato Planetary Transits and Oscillations of Stars mission is one of the European Space Agency's ESA, most ambitious and exciting endeavors in the field of exoplanet research. Scheduled for launch in 2026, Plato aims to address some of the most profound questions about our universe. Are there other habitable worlds like Earth? What are the conditions necessary for life? How common are planets in our galaxy that could support life? To answer these questions, Plato will utilize a suite of 26 telescopes and cameras to search for exoplanets and study their host stars with unprecedented precision. The primary objective of the Plato mission is to detect and characterize exoplanets, particularly those in the habitable zone of their parent stars, the region around a star where conditions could be suitable for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Unlike many previous missions, Plato is designed to find Earth-sized and super-Earth-sized planets orbiting Sun-like stars. These planets are of particular interest because they are the most likely candidates to host life as we know it. Plato will also focus on bright stars, which allows for follow-up observations with ground-based telescopes to confirm and further study the discovered exoplanets. One of the key techniques Plato will use to find exoplanets is the transit method. This method involves monitoring the brightness of stars over time and looking for periodic dimming that occurs when a planet passes, or transits, in front of its host star. By measuring the amount of dimming and the duration of the transit, scientists can determine the size of the planet and its orbital period. The transit method is particularly powerful because it not only reveals the presence of a planet but also provides information about its size and orbit, which are crucial for assessing its potential habitability. Plato's array of telescopes will allow it to monitor a large number of stars simultaneously, increasing the chances of detecting transiting planets. The mission will target relatively bright stars making it easier to perform follow-up observations from the ground. This multi-telescope approach is innovative and enhances the mission's ability to detect smaller, Earth-sized planets that are more challenging to find than larger gas giants. Each of Plato's telescopes will observe the same field of view, combining their light-gathering power to achieve the high precision needed to detect the tiny dimming caused by Earth-sized planets. In addition to finding exoplanets, Plato will also study the host stars themselves through a technique known as asteroseismology. Asteroseismology involves measuring oscillations or starquakes on the surface of stars. These oscillations cause variations in the star's brightness that can be detected by Plato's sensitive instruments. By analyzing these variations, scientists can gain detailed information about the star's internal structure, composition, and evolutionary state. This information is crucial for understanding the properties of the exoplanets orbiting these stars because a planet's characteristics are closely linked to those of its host star. The combination of exoplanet detection and asteroseismology makes Plato a powerful tool for studying planetary systems in great detail. By characterizing both the planets and their host stars, Plato will provide a comprehensive picture of these systems, helping to identify those that are most similar to our own solar system. 
This, in turn, will inform our understanding of how common Earth-like planets are in the galaxy and the likelihood of finding other habitable worlds. Plato's mission design includes a planned operational lifetime of at least four years, with the possibility of extensions depending on its success and the health of the spacecraft. During this time, Plato will survey two main regions of the sky, a long-duration field and a step stair field. The long-duration field will be observed continuously for two to three years allowing Plato to detect planets with longer orbital periods, including those in the habitable zone of sun-like stars. The step stair field will involve shorter observations of different regions of the sky, providing a broader survey of stellar populations and increasing the overall number of stars observed. One of the significant advantages of Plato's approach is its ability to detect and study planets in a variety of stellar environments. By observing different regions of the sky, Plato will sample stars with a wide range of ages, compositions, and masses. This diversity will help scientists understand how planetary systems form and evolve over time and how different stellar environments influence the likelihood of planet formation and the potential for habitability. Plato's data will be invaluable for follow-up studies with other space-based and ground-based observatories. For instance, once a planet candidate is identified by Plato, its host star can be observed with radial velocity instruments to confirm the planet's existence and measure its mass. The combination of transit and radial velocity data will provide a complete picture of the planet's size, mass, and density, allowing scientists to infer its composition and internal structure. This detailed characterization is essential for assessing the planet's potential habitability. Moreover, Plato's discoveries will be prime targets for future missions designed to study exoplanet atmospheres, such as the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, and the Atmospheric Remote Sensing Infrared Exoplanet Large Survey Aerial. By analyzing the light that passes through a planet's atmosphere during a transit, these telescopes can identify the chemical composition of the atmosphere and search for signs of habitability or even biosignatures, indicators of life. Plato's role in identifying the best targets for these follow-up observations will be critical for advancing our search for life beyond Earth. The Plato mission represents a significant leap forward in our ability to find and study exoplanets. Its innovative design and advanced technology will enable it to detect smaller planets and characterize their host stars with unprecedented precision. The mission's focus on bright stars and Earth-like planets makes it particularly exciting for the search for habitable worlds. By expanding our knowledge of exoplanets and their environments, Plato will help answer fundamental questions about the prevalence of habitable planets in our galaxy and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. The scientific community and the general public eagerly anticipate the launch of the Plato mission. Its discoveries have the potential to transform our understanding of planetary systems and the conditions necessary for life. The mission's contributions to exoplanet science will be profound, laying the groundwork for future explorations and potentially leading to one of the most significant discoveries in human history, the detection of life beyond Earth. In conclusion, the Plato mission embodies the spirit of exploration and discovery that drives humanity's quest to understand our place in the universe. Through its innovative approach to exoplanet detection and stellar characterization, Plato will provide unprecedented insights into the diversity and properties of planetary systems. 
the mission's focus on Earth-like planets and habitable zones is particularly compelling, as it brings us closer to finding other worlds that could support life. As we look to the future, the data and discoveries from Plato will guide our efforts in exploring the cosmos and searching for signs of life beyond our planet.